Hello gorgeous people, how are you? Today I'm talking about homeschooling and my experiences now after having homeschooled my children for ooh, six years. I'll tell you all about it on the other side. So before we had children, when we were planning children, we were planning what we were going to do and we knew that we didn't want to send them to conventional school. Why? Because we'd woken up a long time before to the world and to the education system and we knew that it was a pile of shit. So what we decided was if we were going to have children then we would have to get ourselves in a position to be able to afford the time and the money to homeschool. And that's what we did. We kind of rejiggled our lives and we ended up working from home uh, and having enough time to be able to dedicate to it because you do need to be able, in the early years, you need to dedicate time. Later on, when they get bigger, you don't. But when you start, yes, of course. So what have I found about homeschooling? What were the things I was worried about? And it was less than I was worried about it, but everybody around me, was worried about it. The main thing that people were worried about was how was I going to socialize my children? My children needed socializing and I was even told by a close member of my family that I was doing, I was abusing my children by not allowing them to socialize with other children. My question to them was, is that what school's for then? Just to socialize children? What about education? I thought school was about education. However, it's always the standard thing. You talk about homeschooling to anybody who's a, what you would call a normie and they would say, yeah, but how are you gonna socialize your children? As though it were the most important thing. Socializing. So let's get into that straight away with homeschooling. What I've found is that, well, my children have what are called out of school classes, after school classes. So my son, uh, the eldest son plays the piano, he plays the violin, and he plays the flute, and he does concerts and things like that. My younger son, he's learning the piano, and so he goes and he does concerts and things like that. He's just at a basic level because he's only seven. And so my children do have time to socialize with what you would call their peers. The issue I've got with socialization at school is that if you want your child to learn important things from their peers, if all of the peers are the same age, and if all of the peers have the same educational system, they're not gonna learn very much. So my idea of socialization is making sure that my children are able to talk to adults, are able to talk in formal situations, are able to talk in informal situations, are able to socialize with people. Because people are not seven-year-olds. People are not eight-year-olds. People are all ages. And so that's what we've done. The children are put into situations where they've got to manage, they've got to come to terms with the fact that there are other people who they, they don't know, people of different ages, and they do a fantastic job. Would I say that uh, socialization is not an important factor? It really is. And I would say that probably my children at the beginning were shyer than most children. They're a little bit, they're a little bit more standoffish just because they weren't accustomed to be surrounded by hundreds of screaming kids. However, what I'm noticing now, because my, my eldest son is now 12, coming up 13, and he's not shy at all now. And he is quite comfortable talking to any age, to people at any age. The other thing that I notice is that there's a distinct difference in energy between homeschool children and children who've gone through the education system there is a massive difference in energy. What do I mean by that? Children who, who uh, this is what I find, if I'm around children who have been educated in the normal education system, I find them extremely scattered, extremely uh, overly excitable, very, very excitable, screaming, running around, they're very undisciplined, they're very, 
I don't know. It was like, it, 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 they're like too, too energetic. And what I find, and this is because I've been around, you know, we've been around a lot of homeschooled children. Homeschooled children are extremely calm. Calm. Yes, they have fun. Yes, they laugh. Yes, they get excited. But their standard, their baseline is very calm. Something I like. And I think it's something they like too. They did a study a while ago. You know, I don't know if you remember Dr. Spock. And I'm not talking about uh, Star Trek. Dr. Spock, the doctor who did these experiments with children, and he came up with the, how to bring up a child. And he said things like, do not let the child sleep in your bed. Make sure it has its own cot. Do not, if the child is crying, don't pick it up. Let it cry. And all of that. Okay. And what he was saying was, if not, then the child becomes very dependent on the parents and it will never, ever be anything in this world. Well, then the study children who spent time with their parents, a lot of time with the parents. And what they found was that the children who spent a lot of time with the parents when they were children went on to be extremely confident. And it was the children who didn't spend time with the parents who went on to have confidence issues. Why is that? Well, my guess is that when you've got the support of your parents, when every time you look up, you know your parents there. When you're in the house and you know that your parents are there, there's a comfort to it. I don't know if you, any of you have had this experience when you're a child and your parents are there and your parents are having a laugh. They're having fun. They're hugging one another. They're just doing nice things. You get this tremendous sense of well-being. All is well. It's when your parents are arguing or you don't know where they are and you're on your own that you get that sense of, oh, I'm, I'm not protected. So in the long run, even at the beginning, if children are, you know, mummy's boys and daddy's boys, they then go on to be extremely confident. And it's the expression, which I can't remember who coined it, but it was a person who lived a long time ago. Show me the boy up to seven and I'll show you the man. The first seven years of our life are absolutely vital. And if they're good, then we're good. If they're bad, then we've got problems. So the other thing that I've seen that I like about homeschooling is this. When I talk to parents whose children are going to normal school, they say, oh my goodness, it's really hard to get them to do the homework. They come home, they just wanna be on the tablet, they don't wanna do anything else. My sister said that to me. He just doesn't wanna do anything else. And I said to her, what time does he get up in the morning? And she said, well, because he has to get a train to school, he gets up at 6.30 in the morning. He's 12, by the way. And I said, what time does he get home? And she said, well, pretty much the same, like 6.30, 7 o'clock if he's got an after school club. And I said, so what, why do you think he doesn't want to do anything when he comes home? Would you? And the issue is these are children and they are having a timetable that adults find repressive. And these are children. What I've found with homeschool children, with my children, is this. They have their core study. They have one-to-one -one teachers. And a one-to-one -one class, in my opinion, for anyone who's had one-to-one -one classes, they're worth 30 of a class of one teacher and 30 kids. One-to-one -one is the teacher's totally focused on you, you can ask any question, any doubts you have get resolved because it's your class. Whereas in a school, that isn't the, the, the way that it works. The slow ones get left behind, the fast ones sometimes get bored, and the middle ones are the ones who are all right. But what I've found is because my children might study three hours a day, right, three hours a day, they spend a lot of their time then doing what's called self-study, self-learning. My eldest, for example, said to me one day, I've decided, I like geography, I've decided to learn all the flags of the world. Okay. Would that be something I would do? Not at all. Not interested. But he was very interested. And so he put himself about learning all of the flags of the world. And he knows them all now. He has some issues with the, 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 mine, the, the flags within a country, but he knows all the flags of the world. He knows where every country is in the world, ge geographically speaking. 
he's currently reading the Bible. Okay? It's 12. He just said to me, have you got a Bible? I want to start reading it. And he's reading the Bible. This is what happens with homeschooled children, that they have energy to spare. And because they, they just want to learn, they go off and start doing their own thing. There's an element of homeschooling called no schooling. And that's just where you let children do their own thing. I'm, I'm not massively in favor of that in and of itself, but there's a portion of homeschooling, which is what do you want to do? My other son is extremely create, creative and artistic, and he spends all of his free time painting his animals, drawing, make, creating things with paper and with cardboard. He's just, he loves animals. He, learn, he knows all the animals. He knows loads of facts about the animals. This is what I find with children who are homeschooled is that they have time and energy to do what they want. When somebody's forcing you to do stuff that you don't want to do, it puts you off doing anything. Whereas when you have your core lessons and they enjoy them and one to one, they get it, they get a great relationship with a one to one teacher and they really, they really blossom, they really blossom. So in essence, what I would say is that homeschooling, certainly for, for this audience and you know, m m many looking at the stats, many of us now are moving toward being grandparents rather than parents. However, I'm telling you this so that when you come across somebody who says, I'm thinking of homeschooling, or perhaps your children are thinking of homeschooling their children, then leave it, allow them space to do that. You know, and don't fall on the old, this is programmed into us. It's a programmed thing. How do I know it's programmed? When you hear this, different people saying the same sentence, you know that it's not their sentence. And that's when I hear people saying, what about socialization? then you know that that's, that's not an issue. It's just been given to us as a reason why you shouldn't do it. But truly, if you can, if you have the time, if you have the money, because there is a cost element to it, obviously you've got to pay for the classes. At the beginning you do them yourself, but there's a point where you can't and you need to get experts in, then it's definitely worth doing. Both of my children are in groups that have been formed by awakened people who started to do homeschooling with children of the parents who are awake. And so that what we know is that they're not gonna get the indoctrination that they get in schools. I mean, that's another whole other issue, isn't it? About what exactly are they being taught in school? And you know, when you see some videos of some teachers and the views they have, you think, well, I wouldn't want my child taught by that teacher. And it isn't something that we can control. Whereas when we choose the teachers for our children, and at the beginning, obviously we vet them, we listen in, we see how things are going, and you can just know by its fruits how well it's going. So all in all, I am a big fan. The member of my family who at the beginning said I was a child abuser is now thinking about putting her son in homeschooling. Why? Because he's having a terrible time at school, he's getting bullied, he is getting into awful groups, awful groups. The children now are way out of control and so she's thinking about doing it. All the child abuse has gone to one side and why I th the feeling I get is that she's looking at our children and thinking, well, they seem to be okay, if anything. They seem to be extremely well behaved. So maybe there's something to it. And maybe there is something to it. I'm certainly a big fan. So I wanted to share that and I'd like to know your thoughts on it. Have you homeschooled? Are you thinking about homeschooling? Do you know somebody who's homeschooled? And how is that going for them? Put it in the comments. I'd love to hear from you. I love you all and I'll speak to you all later.